start it again. All right, so three, two, one. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm one of the community, nope, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm a community producer at Britannus. And this is Gail. She is a member of Keeper of the Flame. Leanne is the Keeper of the Flame. And we are missing today Ruby, who is also a member of the Keeper of the Flame. And this is Aaron. Some of you know him as Stone Antonikis. He's been on Britannus leadership since 2019 in various jack of all trades roles. And we are happy to announce that going forward, producers have invited him, and he is accepted, to be the first facilitator of our new conduct team. So the conduct team exists to address in a process-oriented way, alleged breaches of Britannus's code of conduct. What this means is that when an individual reports a potential breach, the keeper of the flame and the code of conduct facilitator, myself, will review the report, the individuals involved, and discuss within that group actions like further support and or sanctions if they're needed. From a process standpoint, what this means is that first there'll be a report made, then there'll be a review by Keeper of the Flame and the facilitator of the conduct team if there, if there even is a need to proceed. For example, some reports are made that don't require any further action or have already been addressed. If relational repair is needed, it will be worked through with the Keeper of the Flame, and if a code of conduct breach has occurred, the report is referred to the conduct team. Let's be clear, both can be true. Now, if the referral is to the Keeper of the Flame, there's a focus on relation, relational repair between individuals and or individuals in the community. If referral is to the conduct team, there's a focus on accountability, responsibility, choice, thinking well of self and of the group, stewardship of self, and recognizing that old wounds may be influencing the behavior in that situation. This team is tasked with equitably applying all sanctions, cautions, warnings, and bans, and creating and assisting individuals with establishing support plans. Now, the conduct team is going to be approaching these meetings as a dialogue. There is a range of outcomes possible when, when working with us on this. It is possible that sitting down with the conduct team could result in a game ban. However, it is actually much more likely that it's going to result in a caution, a warning, or a ban on a specific type of activity or location or other small restriction. All of this is outlined in the Code of Conduct under the Sanctions section. In most cases, if a person is sitting down with the conduct team, it is to help that person remain here in the community with us. This video is being recorded for our 2024 season, and there is currently a leadership nomination form that we are going to link below. We are seeking nominations for a position on the con for positions on the conduct team. So please use that nomination form and identify in any of the text boxes that your nomination is for the conduct team. All positions on this team will have term limits. And what are those positions? Well, first, Aaron Stone will be the facilitator. There will be one or two Britannus adjacent members. And this means that these are people outside of our Britannus community, but have been adjacent to it for some time and genuinely care about the well being of our community. We'll have four to six active players. There'll be one producer that is a non voting member, and that person will rotate and one member of the Keeper of the Flame that's also non-voting and also rotates. So this team will have a minimum of eight and a maximum of 11 members. Decisions will be made by consensus. And what is consensus? Well, check the link below. Some other examples of similar models like this conduct team are... Commission board. Or research, an IRB board. Or an ethics board. Or, or a, a licensing board. Licensing board, yeah. So we tell stories together and the ultimate purpose of the code of conduct and the conduct team is to make sure that we all exist within an environment where we have an agreed upon code of behaviors that aim to keep our community safe thanks <laughs>